We talked about a homogeneous cell seeding and cell growth. And now within the third part of our lab tour, I'd like to discuss the most important question in the cell culture lab with you. How to protect my cells against the contamination? First, we should have a look at the potential sources of contamination. What do you think are sources for contamination? My colleagues. The medium. The incubator. Well, everything is right. Besides the right training of all colleagues that have access to the cell culture lab, sterile working is the most important thing. That means you have to clean and disinfect the whole equipment on a regular basis. Especially the biological safety cabinet, the water bath and the incubator. Everything, but especially the incubator, should be easy to clean, for example due to an easy to disassemble wrecking system. The water in the incubator needs to be changed regularly. Make sure that you empty the water tray completely and disinfect it before you put in new sterile water. An automatic high temperature disinfection mode can help in addition especially if the chamber is not free of welds and seams. But here as well, the usage of the right consumable might help. Use flask with a screw cap instead of dishes if a frequent transportation of the culture is needed. If this is not possible, dishes that support safe handling during transportation should be used. The Epinov cell culture dish offers a handling ring for a safe grip and avoid an unintentional removal of the lid. In addition, the lid is equipped with a splash protect ring. This ring avoids splashes during transportation and also traps liquid inside the dish when condensation occurs. Please have a closer look at our website appendoff.com slash cellbiology to get more tips and tricks to prevent contamination. We are also offering a video tutorial at our website to demonstrate the most common handling procedures in a cell culture lab.